right, we're see. at the beach. We're waiting for Matt and Laura to get here because they're here on the island. You guys don't know Matt and Laura, but you're about to get to know them. They're the homies. We're with Audrey. And we're at a new beach that we haven't been to before. And we're going to try out some snorkeling. And I keep squinting because it's bright and hot. Switch to the snorkeling montage. Okay, Matt and Laura are here. I have to introduce. Say hello, Matt. <laughs> to all my fans, <laughs> I want to let you know what time it is. Yeah. We on the beach, dude. We out here on the beach. That's Matt and that's Laura. And they flew here from our home in Tacoma. Dolores. That's a lie. Yes. I'm from Antarctica. Together, I live they're, they're Dolores. <laughs> and that's Audrey, you know her. She's a re reoccurring character on this show. <laughs> And we're at the beach. I don't have anything eventful to say. Um, we snorkeled and it was amazing. Oh, we snorkeled and it was amazing and I'll probably put that somewhere right after me saying this. This particular beach, like many of the best beaches on Maui, has several names. It seems to be most commonly called White Rock Beach or Palauia Beach, but it really depends on who you're talking to. This was the first time we visited the beach, and since then, it's grown to be one of our favorite beaches on Maui. There's a whole bunch of reasons why we like it, but there's three main reasons why we think it's one of the best beaches on Maui. Reason number one, the beach is beautiful. It's precisely what you picture when you imagine paradise. Palm trees, white sand, and banging blue water. Reason number two, the reef that sits on the rocky points off both the north and the south ends of the beach are in really good shape, so it boasts a ton of turtles, fish, and other cool marine life. 
After snorkeling all over the island for the past few months, I think this is definitely one of my favorite and one of the best snorkeling spots on Maui. And the last reason, reason number three, it's a smaller beach in a residential neighborhood, so it doesn't have any hotels, resorts, or condos anywhere near it. That means it's much less crowded than the other popular beaches in the South Kihei Wailea area. day um, it's Sunday and she was supposed to leave on Saturday but she extended her strip her strip <laughs> she extended her trip uh, by a couple days because she loves it here and it's amazing um, we've been hanging out at the beach and just doing fun things eating lots of food um, she rode on the back of our friend Derek's uh, bike She's over here riding. She's riding right now on the back of our friend Derek's bike, um, which she was a little apprehensive about. <laughs> I think she's having fun though. So we're sad to see her leave. We're gonna go get some food and maybe go to the beach. It's been awesome having her in town these past two weeks. Um, Audrey, we love you. Um, in other news, we're going to be moving down to Kihei. Alex got a opportunity to do another work trade in Kihei uh, with this awesome woman, Terry. So we're thinking about moving down to Kihei for the last leg of our trip. Haven't fully decided, but it's a strong possibility. If you've been following our videos, you probably saw the property tour video um, of where we've been living these past few months. Episode four. Episode four. Check it out if you haven't seen it. So that is on the northwest part of the island. Um, it's about 30 minutes out of Wailuku and it's very jungly. Um, it rains a lot, especially in the winter. And it's not like Tacoma, Seattle rain. It'll be like jungle rain. Um, monsoon. Monsoon style. It's just in the mountains and it's on the wet side or one of the wet areas of the island. So where we 
are potentially moving down in Kihei is the dry area, the desert, um, arid portion of the island. The leeward side for all you sailors out there. We've been watching sailing videos. And so it's basically a totally different climate. It's a, it's a trip. We'll start at our house in the morning and it'll be um, pretty cloudy and rainy. And then the minute you drop down, uh, it starts to dry up. And then by the time you get to Kihei, it's pretty much never raining in Kihei. So it would just be a very different um, experience to live down there. And we're not sure if we'd like it, but we're here. So we're thinking we might as well check it out and just see what it's like to be in the dry area. Opportunities don't throw themselves at you like this often in life. So it seems worthwhile to go with it, to use the shitty cliche to go with the flow. <laughs> Part of why we don't like to book our trips in advance is so that we can go where the wind takes us, per se, um, where the weather takes us. So we will keep you posted. Maybe we'll get a little bit more footage of us hanging out with Audrey before she leaves today. talk if you don't like this we don't have to use it we can do it again but it's good to just have it be organic like I don't want you to make shit up this is just normal shit what's your name my name is Audrey Freshino and I'm here from Tacoma Washington date of birth social security number <laughs> just kidding <laughs> credit card information we've been friends for how long I think I was trying to remember the other day. I think that we became friends in either 2010, late 2010 or 2011, sometimes. Yeah. So, probably like eight or nine years. Pretty close. Yeah. You're one of my favorite people. Aww. I have mad respect for how you guys live your life. Um, I love that you set up your life uh, with high priorities being having freedom and autonomy over your time and creating a life that you love, um, full of meaningful experiences and travel and learning um, and personal growth. It's fucking badass. Uh, I think it's really cool that you guys have decided that you want to travel every year for at least, you know, four or five months um, and that you've worked really hard to make that happen. And I'm really proud of you. Do you think there's anything that we should do differently or things that we need to change or work on? So are you talking about with videos, like sharing information? With any of it. Like, do you think we should change how we travel? Do you think how we should do more videos or less videos or? What I want to know is I mean, what I we're doing good and how it could be better, you know? Yeah. I mean, I think that it would be cool if the videos were more focused on learning so you guys could talk more about your health journey. well-being or just like more cool history or science about the places that you're at so it's more like a learning experience maybe um what else yeah focusing more on cool plant and animal life how do you feel about joining us on our travels because you're not you're one of the only ones who's been on multiple uh i love it i always wish that i could stay longer I want to come the whole time. I never want to go back to real life. <laughs> um, if there's anything that you could say, the last part, like, yeah. if there's anything that you could, like, tell people. Like, if you could reach a bunch of people, what would you want to say to them? Like, what's your message to the world? Learn how to take care of yourself the best way that you possibly can and love yourself so that you can love and serve other people. Amen. Boom. Be present, right? To practice and just fucking make a life that you don't have to vacation from.